what we do is we're building a low-cost, fully immersive surgical simulation platform using the latest in uh, VR and GPU technology. There's a crisis in the way that we're training surgeons where surgery is becoming so complicated and at the same time we're restricting the hours that surgeons have to learn. So people are graduating without even having done certain procedures. So when you go under the knife, someone might be doing that procedure for the first time on you. Simulators are seen as part of the answer. The problem is the previous generation has been like $250,000 sort of monolithic type machines. But now with the latest in GPU and VR technology, our system costs us $2,000 to put together. So it's really going to change the way that you receive medical care because uh, you're going to be having a much more skilled surgeon. Trying to explain VR to someone who's never used it before is incredibly difficult. Uh, but now that it's kind of all becoming much more available, it's a little bit easier because you can just uh, slap a mobile VR headset on someone you're talking to and they're just blown away. So that challenge is becoming progressively easier. We're hardware agnostic, but right now we're demoing on the Oculus CV1. Uh, we use the Oculus Touch controllers. We use the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti and we develop with Unity. One of the things that we're working on right now is we're having people able to remotely join you for your simulation through like an iPad or a tablet so that they can, uh, say a device rep or an older surgeon can guide you through without having to wear a headset. We've trialed our software with several UCLA surgeons and uh, also the residency directors in charge of medical education. And feedback has been outstanding. They're really excited about what it's gonna do and we wanna expand a mobile VR uh, and also AR for use in the operating room.